Well, what a spot we're in this afternoon. The Baronga Riverside Caravan Park, right on the banks of the Murray River, and it's time to put the nose bag on once again. We are driving along in the car today, and Tanya said, what are we having for dinner? And I said, why don't you make that decision? So what did you end up doing? I rang up Mum, and I said, Mum, I've got to cook dinner tonight for Macca and the crew. What should I make? And she said, look, an old favourite, when they're travelling on the road, it's simple, easy. That sounded like my cup of tea. She said, the old braised steak and onions. So that's what we're having tonight. All right. So what are the instructions? You're in charge. It's pretty simple, Macca. Um, I've cut up this blade steak. It's pretty important that you have blade steaks. It's a really nice cut. Roll it in a bit of flour, salt and pepper. Cut it up about that size. You know, it's, it's a good size uh, for cooking. Heat up the pan. So maybe put a bit of oil in the in the pan. All right, so I'll just get this. You can keep doing what you're doing. I'll get a bit of oil yep. in. So it's super simple, this recipe. It's just season the, the meat, some onion, a bit of carrot, and some mushrooms, serve it with some mashed potato and it's just delicious. Good, we just want to season it, so drop it in and when it sears and yeah. you seal it, you know, really nicely. Like so that's the sound we're listening for, seal. Yeah, like, yeah, it's really important that you uh, brown the steak. Don't you don't, don't want to stew it, you just want to seal it and, and sear it off. So you drop it in there, mate. So I could be in charge of that? Yeah, or look at that, perfect. I See don't want to nice. muck up your mum's recipe. No, no. She'll never talk to me again. That's beautiful, so you can pop it all in. Just put the whole lot in? Yep, yeah, just gently just put it in. We can add in some chopped up onions. We'll brown them off as well. Oh, it doesn't take me long to brown some people off. <laughs> he leaves a trail of destruction <laughs> wherever he goes. <laughs> just chop them up pretty roughly, you know. It's bush cooking at its finest. Bush cooks, not chefs, that's how I say it. I'll tell you what, you can't smell it at home, but it's starting to smell pretty good to me here. Mm. Then we'll throw in some carrots, and then you cover it with a bit of water probably a couple of cups and simmer it along for about an hour, an hour and a half. Um, throw in your mushrooms and um, then you're pretty much ready for dinner. Pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah, it's easy peasy. That looks fantastic. I think she's ready to turn. Give it another go, you yeah, reckon? Yep, just gently, don't knock it around too oh, much. sorry about that. Just cover it nicely with water. Because the, the flour that we seasoned it with before will make that nice gravy sort of flavour through it. Oh, and no. Consistency. And what I'll do is I'll put a bit of your pepper sauce gravy in here, just to get all the lumps out of it, because the last thing we want is lumpy braised steak. That is the last thing we want. It's actually the second last thing. The last thing we want is for this all to fall on the ground and end up in the dirt. Oh, That's the last. So this is the second last, probably. OK, so we'll put a bit of that through. That's pretty nice. Oh, hey, I'll tell you what. Yep. That is certainly going to be the icing on the cake. Throw in the um, carrots. All right. Give them a gentle stir around. And we'll throw in some mushrooms. You knock the temperature back just a little bit. Yep. And just simmer it along with the lid on it now. Throw this back on? Yep. Rightio. And what do we do next? I think you should make me a nice cup of tea. Cup of tea? And we'll come back in about, say, three quarters of an hour, and I reckon this will be just about ready. I reckon this is ready to rock and roll. Do you? So, yeah. Can you take the lid off? Of course we can. It looks really good. Do you want to have a little sample of the, of the gravy? Oops. How's that? Oh, I'll tell you what, that is spot on. Now what we're going to do is serve this with some mashed potato that I prepared earlier and we'll serve it up. How hungry are you, Macca? Oh, look, um, I could eat a horse, but we've got beef, so that'll do. <laughs> okay. So you reckon give it a bit of a go? Yep, a little bit of potato, take bit a little bit of the meat. Bit of the meat? Is it good? Oh, well, it took my mouthful. Thanks, Mum. And I hope you guys, if you, if you make it at home, I hope it's really good for you. You're going to love it. Get into it.